NovDEC 2025 for Mathematics Paper 2. That is compulsory question 1. Draw a table for multiplication in Modulo 8 on the set 1, 3, 5, 7. And then after we are done with our table, we have to use it to evaluate some given expressions. So let's begin with the table. So this is a multiplication table. So our multiplication table on the set one, three, five, seven. So one, three, five, seven. Remember, we are working in mode eight. So let's let's start. Let's start completing the, the table. So one times one is one, and then one in mode eight is still one. One times three in mode eight, we have three. One times five, that is five. Five in mode eight, we have five. One times seven, seven. Seven in mode eight is still seven. Three times one, three. Three in mode eight is three. Three times three, that is nine. Then we know that nine in mode eight. So eight goes into nine, one remainder one. And we know that in mode, the remainder is the answer. So we have one. Three times five, that is 15. So 15 in mode eight. So eight goes into 15, that is one. 8 goes into 15, we have 1, remainder 7. So 7 is the answer. 3 times 7, 21. So let's work out 21 in mode 8. So 8 goes into 21, 2 times. So what to be the remainder? 8 times 2, that is 16. 21 minus 16. We have 5. So the remainder here is 5. 5 times 1, we have 5. 5 in mode 8. We still have 5. 5 times 3, we have 15. And then 15 in mode 8. We have already calculated that we had 7. 5 times 5, that is 25. And then 25 in mode 8. So 8 goes into 25. So we have 3. Remember, you know that 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 3 is 24. So there will be a remainder of 1. So we have 1 here. 5 times 7, that is 35. And 35 in mode 8. Let's find out. 8 goes into 35. How many times? 4 times. 4 times. What is the remainder? We know that 8 times 4 is 32. So 35 minus 32, we have 3. So the remainder here is 3. 7 times 1, 7. 7 in mode 8, is still 7. Uh, 7 times 3, 21. 21 in mode 8, we have 5. We have already worked that. Next, 7 times 5 is 35. 35 in mode 8, the answer is 3. And then lastly, 7 times 7, we have uh, 
49. So 49 in mode 8. So how many times does 8 goes into 49? So we have 6 times. 8 times 6, we know that is 48. And then 49 minus 48, we have 1. So that is the remainder. So here is 1. So now we are done with the multiplication table in mode 8 on the given set. That is 1, 3, 5, and then so. So this is for the A part of the question. Now the B. The B part of the question. Let me get a space here. Okay, so let's start with this. So for the B, we have to evaluate 5. Multiply by 3. And the whole of this multiply by 7. So we can work this out using the table. And indeed, we are even asked to use the table. So from the table, what is 5 times 3 in mode 8? So 5 times 3. 5 times 3. We had 7. So the whole of this from the table is 7. So we have our multiplication sign and then multiply by 7. So the next step we have 7 multiplied by 7 in mode 8. So from the table, what is uh, 7 multiplied by 7? We have 1. So the answer here is 1. That is for the B. So, okay, that is B, I, rather, B, I. So, B, I. Let's work out B, I, I. So, with B, I, I, we are told to find the truth set. The truth set of... Um, M multiply by M plus 2. This must be equal to 3. So anytime you are given something of this sort, we just have to do substitution and simplify and see. Now, from the set, the first number given here is 1. So let's test one and see whether one satisfy this particular equation so let's see so let's say we have one multiplied by one plus two let's see whether it is equal to three so we know that always we need to simplify what is inside the brackets so one plus two this is normal addition one plus two we have three so we have one multiplied by three. Now from the table, what is one times three in mode eight? One times three in mode eight is still three. So we could see that one satisfy the equation. So let's let's write it down. So when m is equal to one, the statement or the equation is true. Let's test the next number, which is three. So let's repeat the same process. In place of M, we are going to substitute uh, 3. So this time we have 3 multiplied by 3 plus 2. Let's see whether it is equal to 3. So first of all, let's work out the bracket. 3 plus 2, that is 5. We have multiplication. We have 3. From the table, 3 times 5. 3 times 5, that is 7. That is 7. So with this, when we substituted M, we are getting 7. So we can see that M cannot, M cannot be equal to 3. Let's test the next number, which is 5. Let's test the next number, which is 5. We are going to repeat the same 
the same process. Anywhere we see M, we substitute uh, 5. So we have 5 multiplied by 5 plus 2. Bracket first, 5 plus 2, we have 7. So 5 multiplied by 7 in mode 8. From the table, what is 5 multiplied by 7? 5 multiplied by 7, we have 3. So meaning that, yes, indeed, M can also be equal to 5. Then let's test the last one and see. This time we are going to substitute 7 in place of M. So let's also begin with that. Okay, so we have uh, anywhere we see M, we substitute 7. So 7 times 7 plus 2. Let's see. Bracket first, 7 plus 2, we have 9. Times 7. 7 times 9 from the table. So from the table, the highest number here is 7. We don't even have 9. So this one is even invalid. It is invalid. So from this, the possible values of M is 1 then 5 1 and 5 and since we are looking for the proof set our proof set is given by m is such that m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 5 so that is for question 1 a and then b thank you